Did you know that there is an extremely rare resource to be mined in Enshrouded, which you will most likely never come across during your adventures? After clocking over 100 hours in the game, I never saw it and only found out about its very existence today. Hey, what's up guys? It's your bad 4 am again back with a new Enshrouded guide in which I'm going to show you how to get your hands on Obsidian, a very rare resource which you can only find on a handful of spots, some of them very hidden from plain sight. You're going to need this rare resource to craft, for example, the cauldron and whatever else, which still is a big mystery as of today. So let's check it out. All right. So what we're going to do first is make our way to the mining rift, a pretty small tin mine, which you can find in the far northwestern part of the Nomad Highlands. So west of the ancient spire Nomad Highlands or north of the Pillars of Creation. If I take out my bow, that's basically where you find it. Amazing place, I think, to quick travel from. But yeah, this place is filled with critters. You can also find a chest right there. But um, this is where you want to start searching for the obsidian. If you fly to the east, well, this is where you can already pick up a checkpoint. What we're going to do right now is walk towards the north and you will basically walk past these large mushrooms. We're going to keep walking ahead. And this is what brings you to this little arch in the hills. If I use my bow for a second, you can see that right there, we have some kind of cart with a barrel. If I quickly open up the map, this is exactly where we are. East of the Shroud Route, northeast of the Mining Rift. And right now, what you want to do is take out your pickaxe because this is where your mining adventure begins, ladies and gentlemen. This is an extremely difficult to break resource as it's going to require like seven to ten swings before you get one obsidian ore with an iron pickaxe. Pickaxe. So I very much recommend you to pick up some things like quality gear, break your tools less quickly, the mason, so you can deal 30% more damage against stone objects. And yeah, if you want to farm a lot of this, also have a 10% bonus for additional resource with the miner. Even though the resource breaks extremely slow, that also means you can pick up a decent amount of these before you mine it all away. I think like 9 to 10 will be an average without any talent points. Well, as I already mentioned, these will definitely speed up the process. Anyways, after you've depleted this deposit, there are two more spots where you can get your hands on more obsidian. Save this extremely rare resource for future crafts in Eshrouded. So let's quickly travel back to the ancient spire Nomad Highlands and fly to the east. I want to give a quick shout out to you guys on the Eshrouded Reddit. I'm Canadian and Huggy. They basically provided us with two locations. I think an amazing place to pick up more obsidian as they are right next to each other. As this is where you can find a large mountain. Well, it's right here on the very top of the Ark, basically, which also leads to the Sun Temple. But if we now look to this side with the Pillars of Creation right in the middle of, let's say, the pillar and the cave. Well, this is where you want to take out your pickaxe and look to the wall and start mining. This is where we will first of all find a nice chest with some consumables. But if we continue mining, there is even a friend to be found in the rocks. And a little bit more to the left of the chest, this is also where you can find obsidian ore. This node seems to be much bigger compared to the previous one. Again, it is right here at this little hunter cave in the northern part of the Nomad Highlands. Anyways, we have one more location to check out, which, well, appears to be to the very south of this little cave. Right above the flame shrine, well, this is where you can also find one of these systems. Also with the cart, which we saw earlier, as well as one of those barrels and a campfire. But also, you guessed it, that chest. So this kind of looks like a copy-paste area. But it also comes with the obsidian. So this is where you can continue the hunt. Get your hands on even more of that extremely rare resource. Which is still one of the most difficult resources to get your hands on in the game. And we don't know yet what else we can use it for crafting wise. If I quickly check out the repair station and go to the blacksmith, well, this is where you can already find the cauldron. So if you lost it during your adventures, well, this is where you can combine iron bars, copper bars and obsidian ore with a bone meal to make that. While it's already pretty easy to pick this one up during your adventures. I also saw a recipe with steel right here. Also a resource which apparently doesn't pop up in the world. 
it still has a placeholder icon, so probably not yet in the game. But guys, if you find more Obsidian nodes, let us know in the comments down below. Maybe you even found another recipe for which we need the Obsidian. Maybe Obsidian arrows or something else. That would be amazing if you can share it with the community. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's everything you need to know about this mysterious type of resource. How you can get your hands on Obsidian at three different locations. Big thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you found this video helpful. And yes, if you want to farm unlimited legendaries, if you want to get your hands on all the resources in the world, I already made plenty of guides for that. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more. A lot more Shrouded is coming your way. Right now, though, I want to wish you an amazing day. I'll catch you in the next video or live stream. Take care. Peace.